Hi, this is Trey Pass. Welcome to my Blu-ray update for the week beginning uh, October 11th, uh, 2020. And this is Digital Code Giveaway, I think, number 109, I think. Not sure. <laughs> See the 108 or 109. I'm not particularly sure, so let's make this quick. Uh, I got two movies that I bought and I uh, went to Best Buy today, at, or technically yesterday, <laughs> as I'm recording this. Uh, it's just after midnight, so so it's technically Sunday. <laughs> and normally I record it on Saturday, and then, but I kind of fell asleep. <laughs> anyway, and then I had to grab one other movie from my collection to make it three movies. Okay, so again, the rules simple. Just be a subscriber to the channel and tell me, I'm going to show you the three movies that I got. And you just tell me which movie you want to play for. And as you upload this video before 9 o'clock on Sunday, and you just let me know uh, which movies you want to play for in the comments below and then I just uh, usually close the contest around 7, 7.30 and then do the drawing and hopefully upload the video uh, and then you just let me know and I'll, you know, uh, whether, you know, you want to, and I, no, excuse me, I'm rambling, uh, and you just, uh, when you want to upload the video, the contest results, you just contact me via Instagram, uh, Twitter or send me your email and I'll send you the code either you know Sunday night or either Monday when I come home from work okay so anyway the first movie I got is I saw this movie on uh, on pay-per-view uh, months ago but I really and I really like this. this is a Guy Ritchie film and a great cast The Gentleman okay uh, Matthew McConaughey, Charlie Hunnam, Henry Golding, Michelle Dockery, uh, Colin Farrell and Hugh Grant it's a real good movie about a gangster who's trying to try to retire and sell off his his pot uh, business, but complications happen, and it's actually a really good movie, actually. Uh, Guy Ritchie. Uh, so this says digital call. I'll be giving that away. Okay, now this next movie uh, uh, is actually a remake, and uh, the actor who who's plays the title character is actually pretty good. It's just that the story kind of sucked. <laughs> Uh, and the movie didn't really kind of bombed, and I'm talking about David Harbour, and I'm talking about Hellboy, okay, uh, and uh, like I said, David Harbour makes a good-looking uh, Hellboy, okay, you know, Ron Perlman was in the original, and I really like those two movies, but this movie's this story is kind of like all over the place, and the movie kind of bombed, but like I said, uh, David Harbour makes a good Hellboy, so unfortunately, they're not going to make another one, uh, which is a shame because, like I said, he makes a good Hellboy. And I thought he was funny and and really good in the part. It's just that the story kind of sucked. And uh, what's her name? Uh, who's the uh, Mila Jovovich? She kind of plays the villain. and But the story is just, it's just kind of all over the place and not really good. But David Harbour makes a good Hellboy, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, this has a digital coat, uh, so I'll be giving that away as well. And last but not least is my favorite TV show. Of, uh, I was going to say last year, but actually this movie this came out this year, right? I'm trying to remember when this show started. Uh, I think yeah, it was this year. Uh, and anyway, it was originally on the uh, on the DC streaming service, and now the sec second season. And then they should, you know, it was originally on DC, DC streaming service, and then they repeated on the CW, you know, with edits, of course, for commercials. And uh, now it's going to be on the DC, excuse me, on the C and the CW, because like I said most of those shows on DC streaming service are either moving HBO Max or CW. And I'm talking about, okay, Star Girl, which is a really, really good show. I really like this uh, show. This show, like, to me, is one of the best TV shows that came out. Is that it's just a really good uh, homage to the character and to you know to the comic, and the characters were really good. Luke Wilson uh, was great, uh, and of course Breck, uh, what's her name? Breck Bessinger. She played the title character, Star Girl, and the other supporting characters were good in this. The main villains were good in this, and again, this is, this was one of the best TV shows out there. From this again, hands down, I absolutely love this. So and I'm looking forward to this, uh, you know, the second season, because hopefully, like I said, I get the same showrunners, and hopefully they won't screw around with the budget too much. 
so and keep up the quality of the show now that it's moving to the CW. Because uh, you can tell, like, like the when it was on a DC streaming service, uh, the, the production value on the show was really high and really good. And uh, that kind of made the show. And like I said, I, the writing, the acting, everything was good. And I just hope that it doesn't suffer in quality. I hope they don't CW the show now that it's moved on to the CW. Okay. But and people will know what I'm talking about. Like, no it's pointless triangles and stuff. No, uh, uh, Character swapping, boyfriend swapping. There was none of that on the first season, so hopefully the second season won't have any of that. Anyway, so Star Girl, and again, this has a digital code, so I'll be giving that away as well. Okay, so those are the three uh, things I'm giving away. Okay, the gentleman, Hellboy, and Star Girl. Okay, just let me know which one you want to play for, and you know, again, okay, follow the, my social media in the description box: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Again, I think Instagram is the best way to contact me. I think that's because that's instant and either Twitter uh, or you can give me your uh, email. Although the email thing, sometimes I have an issue with that because sometimes my optimum email blocks it. It considers that spam when you try to email. So I think Twitter is the best way. And again, links to the, my social media are in the description box. Okay, just follow that. And that way, you know, I think I'll uh, contact you. I'll try to give you the, the codes, you know, before I go to sleep on Sunday night. Okay? Anyway, uh, also I have a link to my author uh, channel called Views in the Pants. Check that out as well. And this is Trey Pass. Just saying so long and take care.